G'day Curd Nerds, welcome to day nine of the Cheese A Day Challenge. Today we've got another Ashgrove cheese. Uh, today, they've, well they've named it Fortescue Bay, Tasmanian Havarti with bacon. So, um, it contains pasteurised cow's milk, salt, crumbled bacon 2%, contains preservative 250 which could be sodium nitrate possibly. Uh, Non-animal rennet culture contains milk made in Tasmania. Um, it says it's Tasmanian Havarti with bacon, deliciously creamy with a salty crunch. Uh, pair it with wheat beer and brioche. Uh, fat content of well, only 17.7%, so very light. So if it's anything like the Havarti that we had with uh, the jalapenos, then you'll it, it may be one of those like melt of the mouth mouth sort of experiences anyway easy to open packet some of it's actually stuck stuck to the cover yeah it looks like it's been processed it looks like it's been poured into uh the plastic so yeah it's kind of like molded to the plastic but that's okay a little bit greasy on the outside oily Smells a little bit like bacon. So let's give this bad boy a try. It's kind of a corner. It's a lot firmer than what the jalapeno one was. I'll just try a bit na na naked. Mmm. That's got a better texture. Um, creamy, um, well, bacony, uh, which is good. A little bit, um, well, it's not, yeah, a little bit waxy, maybe, because of the, the quite a lot of greasiness there. Uh, umami, definitely. Uh, tastes brothy as well on the wheel. Uh, so, yeah, it tastes a little bit like, um, a beef broth or no actually more like um oh you know smoked ham hock like that got a nice texture creamy is coats the whole mouth you can definitely taste the bacon the bacon is probably the dominant flavor so if you want a bit of cheese with your bacon, this is perfect to have. Yeah, quite nice. I like this one. A lot better than I did the um, Havarti with um, jalapenos. This is, it's not, doesn't feel gritty in the mouth, if that makes sense. Nice little cheese. Let's have another, another little piece. Yeah, still quite firm. Yeah, this is at room temperature too, so... Mm. Cracker adds a bit of texture, but I probably don't need it with the cracker. Uh, that's quite nice cheese. I like that. Yeah, a lot of bacon flavour there. Not overpowering. A little bit of cheesiness. I don't think it really mattered what cheese it kind of pairs with because the bacon dominates. So being a Havarti, you really can't taste the Havarti flavour per se. So more bacony than Havarti, but a nice match. I, I like it a lot. I do think it's been processed after the fact uh, that they've made the Havarti first, then crumbled it up, and then put the uh, bacon in with it. Uh, so, yeah, nice, interesting cheese. So that was um, Ashgrove cheese, Fortescue Bay, Tasmanian Havarti with bacon. Uh, it comes in a 140 gram pack. Um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, only $6.50, and you can buy it from Ashgrove if you want. And they do ship it throughout Australia. So tomorrow we've got a cheese call out of the UK called Il Truffolino. So it's a cheddar with truffles and mushrooms. So should be interesting. I've never seen it before. So please join me tomorrow for that cheese. Uh, for I, I don't have any bacon-style cheeses, so it's one that I might put on my list to see if I can replicate something like it. It would be interesting to have a cheese with bacon in it, um, whether I, pre -pro I process it after the fact 
Um, I don't think I'll put the bacon in the cheese itself. But yeah, we'll see, see what I can come up with. So thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you tomorrow in the Cheese A Day Challenge. Bye for now.